Okay, this is John from MyBrainOnGames.com, and I've got some good news, I've got some bad news. This is the fifth episode of my playthrough for Rise of the Dragon on the Sega CD. Uh, 1994 point-and-click adventure game. I think it originally came out in like 1990 or 1991 on DOS, on the home computer. Um, good news is I'm going to keep playing it. Bad news is I have to start over. Starting over. And the reason is, I think it was at the end of episode 2, maybe early in episode 3... While we were in Chen Lu's apartment, we had blown up his safe. Whenever we did so, we had selected his ID card. Well, whenever we selected his ID card and returned to the safe, the actual in-game screen left the menu, item menu, uh, his card magically turned into one of my bombs. And it blew open the safe. It's what I had to do to get into the safe. In there was a parchment, a piece of parchment had, had Chinese script on it. Uh, we took it to the elderly Asian gentleman who's been assisting us. I can't think of his name, uh, but he gave us some items and, you know, yada, yada, yada. Uh, we also got the drug patch from Chen Lu's apartment, which we had Karen uh, take to the lab and analyze, and that helped us progress the story. However, we needed Chen Lu's ID card. Karen was also supposed to take a look at that, and she was going to tell us, oh, this is actually reminds me of this person or is related to this person, something like that. And we would, we would have a new location to visit on our world map because that is not the case I do not have that and as we know from the last episode I think I just kind of meandered for a little bit of it just couldn't figure out what to do and I resorted to game facts again in this case uh, kind of glad I did because it let me know hey the game glitched somehow some some way and I can't continue so we're gonna have to start fresh which I just pressed continue so let me press reset. Okay, should I start that spiel over? Okay. I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. No. Okay. Hopefully I should be able to just burn through all the stuff we've done previously since we know what's up, what to do. Unfortunately, I can't skip this, it looks like. There you go, baby. This will get published at a later Have date, a nice but trip. it is Monday, June 15th right now, and E3 is officially ended for the day. And man, what a doozy this E3's been friend. so far. Microsoft and Sony both had some pretty, pretty outstanding conferences, and even Bethesda had a lot of interesting stuff. I think the thing I'm most impressed or most excited about at this point, not having, not watching them, but following along with Twitter and various uh, game sources, game sites, Shenmue 3. Oh my goodness, can't believe that is finally announced. I'm keeping my expectations in check, though. You know, Sony, they brought Yu Suzuki out to plug his game, plug the Kickstarter for Shenmue 3. But I don't, you know, they're not, they're not getting behind it in a major way by funding it or anything like that. So, kind of cautious about that aspect. And then, on top of that, they're only asking for $2 million, which they're going to get. I think it's an hour or so into it, and they've already got half, they're already halfway there. They've received $1 million. And I did back it. But bear in mind, the original game had a reported budget of like $60 million, and that was in the late 90s. Now, I believe the development cycle for that one ran long. They started development during the Sega Saturn. And didn't come out for a handful of years, you know. It, I'm sure that time is really a, a lot of what beefed up that budget, but still. And I'm not aware of what the budget for Shenmue 2 was. Shenmue 2, though, I think reused a lot of the engine that was built for Shenmue 1, and they were probably able to save a lot of cost, cost there. But I don't know. I'm interested to see more of Shenmue 3 now. Interested to see the scope of it, because Shenmue 1 and Shenmue 2 seemed like they had just had a such a fantastic scope. Those games were so sprawling, especially for the time. You know, that's something we kind of play it now. Maybe take for granted with games like Grand Theft Auto having become so prominent after the release of Shenmue, Shenmue Two. Not saying that you know without Grand without Shenmue there wouldn't be Grand Theft Auto. I'm just saying, you know, Shenmue definitely assisted in building that sort of open world 3D genre. Grand Theft Auto is a beast of its own, though. That game. 
incredible. Incredible as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's just go ahead and get these played. Okay, good. We can just skip through all these. Momar's cars. And this last one from Karen. Oh, yeah, we're done there. Okay, so we're done there. Let's go ahead and get our ID card. And uh, we have something here. A photo of Chandra. Yes, let's go ahead and switch our computer terminal off. Let's back out. I needed the key for up here. Where did I get the key? I think I got that from Karen, maybe. Take the first aid kit. What is this? Our PPD? Our aerosol spray? Ha 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 ha! Toilet. Ha 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 ha! Let's go ahead and complete that. Um, 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 um. Was there anything that I needed to take other than that? No, I just need to get up there with the key. Okay, let's go ahead and get our clothes on. Maybe in this playthrough I can get by without losing my gun. Okay. See, we're not going to bother going to Karen's because we know that's going to lead nowhere at this early stage. Um, City Hall, City Hall, City Hall. We'll go ahead and go there. Let's get some roses from this lady. Um, 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 good idea. I'll take a dozen. Let's give her our ID card. So now we've got a dozen roses for Karen. We can make up the fact that we had uh, doom, doom, left her standing doom, earlier. Pre-game. Doom, doom, doom. Let's see, we won't bother going to the warehouse district just yet. I don't think that'll yield anything for us at this early stage. I don't even know if we can go there. Not now, Jenny. I want to see the mirror. Not now. I need to see Karen. What are you... Thanks, but I'm spoken for. Besides, I must talk with Karen. Let's see. I'm going to play the straight character that I was playing the first time through as well. Thanks a lot for... No big deal. This can happen. Here, I brought some flowers to make up. I'm sorry I missed our date, sweetheart. I brought you some flowers to show my affection. Here are the keys you left with me, Blade. There are our keys now. You're welcome, Blade. Come back later if you need me to check out anything else for you. See you later. Okay, so we got these keys and we've got a date set with her at 7.30. Um, 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 um let's go ahead and head back to Blade's place. Okay, yeah, and I can access the warehouse district at this moment. Let's see, we want to get up here, we want to get our key, and we want to open this little cupboard. So we got a Fisto candy bar. We've got that wire tester or whatnot, and then we've got all these bombs. Okay. It looks like we've got everything we came for. So let's go ahead and exit. Let's go ahead and exit. And now let's head to the Pleasure Dome. Check up on 
get lost. What's your problem? No problem. Take good care of them. Hey guys, I'm gonna blow the place away. I didn't want to go there anyway. Uh, well, we know if they take good care of them, we're not gonna get them back. And we know well, I'm gonna blow this place away is probably not a good one. And we do want to go there, so let's try option one. What's your problem? Hey, nice attitude, buddy. Thanks. I'll hang. Think I'll hang on to it. Thanks. All right, but it better be waiting for more relief. Hey, nice attitude, buddy. Your luck, pretty boy. What are you calling pretty boy? Butt heat. <laughs> Butt heat. Hey, sorry. Don't want any trouble. Here's my gun. All right, but it better be waiting for me when I leave. Who are you calling pretty boy? Butt heat. Bad call, friend. No luck there. I better go ahead and save. I probably probably ought to be using multiple saves in case I run into a glitched glitch again that prevents me from continuing. Okay, what's your problem? Uh, hey, nice idea. Think I'll hang on to it. Thanks. Fine by me. Nada. Let's try this again. Can we get... Are we gonna have to give him our gun? I guess if you die three times or you know you get beat up three times or something like that game over now I will have to admit while looking on game facts I did see that we have the option of getting our gun back if we bribe this guy with a candy bar you know I guess candy bars chocolate sugar in particular is illegal in this day and age in Los Angeles so it's a good bartering tool if you want to make sure something happens a specific way or you get something in return. Hold on a so let's see. So what happens if we give him the candy bar? And then we give her the gun. Sure thing. I'll handle it like it was my very own. Mm-hmm. Let's I wonder if that is actually gonna work. If so, it's kind of an obscure solution, one that one that I don't know that if you would immediately get without the use of a fact or something. Yes. Let's see, I'm looking for a man named the Jake. Have you ever seen a girl in here named Chandra? Let's see, let's ask about Jake. Hurry up and discard, Dart. Shut up. You're being rude. I'm sorry, I haven't seen that person. Why don't you try the bar? Perhaps there is someone there who can help you. Oh, uh -huh. wink wink, yes. Now, if you will excuse me, I must get back to relieving you. Okay, so let's go ahead and head to the bar, and we know who the Jake is, so. It's that guy. That guy's the Jake. Let's see if we can mend our relationship with this guy, or at least not uh, make it go bad from the outset. What you want? Uh, you're ugly and you smell bad. You seen a man called a Jake? Don't give me that. I want a drink. Damn it. Maybe I have. Okay. Yo, Kitta, what you want? I'm looking for the Jake. Yeah. What you want him for? You look mighty. Look, Pisshead, it's been a bad day and I don't need crap. A friend of his is in trouble. He's up. Just looking for info. A friend of his is in trouble. Chandra. Shandy? What about? 
I'm afraid that she's dead. Let's just say you have a lot of friends. Minus one. You're crazy. Okay, he doesn't believe us, so let's show her him the pic of her. Oh my god. Now he'll talk to us in private. Oh my god. What can you tell me? Who is Chen? Nobody never heard of him. I told you, I don't know. She was your friend, yeah. I'm talking about your dead friend and some guy named Chen. I'll bet you melted. Yeah, she was my friend. Does that mean I gotta get my lungs scooped out for her? Who the hell is Chen? You're some friend. Not so loud. You'll get us both canceled. I'll tell you. His name is Chen. He's in with some Chinatown hit group. Shandy wanted to try some of his goods. Damn stupid girl. I told her not to mess with him. She just wouldn't listen. Wanted to go and drug up her problem. Looks like she drugged him up real good. You got an address on this, Chen? 544 Wallaby Street, number 798. And remember, you never heard nothing from the jail. Get out of my... You got it, bud. Thanks for the info. Why don't we talk to these two? Hello there. My name is Blade. I'm always looking for a good time. Not with you. Sounds like fun, Candy, but I'm here on business. What a Not a good idea. My girlfriend wouldn't approve. I won't. What about this guy? Who you calling? Who you calling, bitchhead, slag brain? Your attitude sucks, man. Get lost. Okay, well, it looks like we're not going to have a rapport with him now that we've figured out who the Jake is. Excuse me, I'd like to get my gun back. You got a gun check ticket? What are you talking about? When you turn in your weapons, you're supposed to get For a real? ticket. For real? Look, you guys must have forgotten to give me one. Sorry, buddy. No claim check, no gun. But I gave my gun to you a few minutes ago. A lot of people come through this door, mister. You recognize him, Arius? Nope. Well, then I guess you're out of luck, buddy. Okay, here's the deal. Leave now. Hmm. He already took my candy bar and he didn't give me my gun. Well, that really bites. Well... Screw off. We'll continue on. We hadn't encountered an area where we needed it beforehand. I wonder who that goon with the eye patch is. Maybe he's one of Chen's buddies. Hey, watch it. My fault. Yeah, well, you really should be more careful in this neighborhood. Huh. Looks like maybe I can skip these sequences, or at least get through them. Okay, let's hurry up and get what we need from here. Let's power this baby on. Let's play. Maybe not. Let's hit next. Let's play. Message played. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, let's power it back on. Let's grab his ID card and let's make sure to leave with his ID card. Okay, let's check his restroom real quick. We know we've got the drug patch in here, or a spare drug patch in here. And we know the cops are on their way. Looks like maybe whenever you try and skip this, it just skips the dialogue, but the cutscene still plays in its entirety. I don't know. Okay, we got that. Now let's jump over to his bedroom real quick and get the items out of here. Let's examine the dragon, see that the eye glistens. 
and get in behind it. And I know that is the code now from also perusing a fact um, because in the message that played on Chen Liu's uh, monitor or whatnot, those numbers were repeated often. 0772 or 0722, whatever it was. But we got another Fisto candy bar, so that should assist us. Let's go ahead and take that parchment paper to the generous old man in the warehouse district. First off, does he have anything to say to us? Uh, what can I do to prepare for the coming conflict? Check out this sample of calligraphy for me, will you? Yeah, this is the parchment. Now I must render. Second. Thanks for all your help. Okay, now we got all these items from him. And let's check that out. We know we want to equip the suit or the uh, body armor. Bulletproof vest. And now, why don't we head back to Karen? Ooh, or the no, it's 311. City Hall should be open still. I wonder if we can go ahead and give her these items and open these. Hello, handsome. Well. See if we can go ahead and have her examine these or at least give her some of these. Yeah, let's have her look at. What is this? Is this Chen's? Yeah, let's have her look at Chen Lu's. This will be new for us. Information the data bank has on this character. Here it comes now. Chen Liu, uh, known accomplice Johnny Quang the Snake. Select one. Johnny Quang, 6753 Wilshire Boulevard, LA. Known accomplices Chen Liu the Snake. What about the Snake? Address unknown. The Snake, now that is the individual who we bumped into the hall, is it not? Okay. Is there anything else you'd like me to take a look at, Blade? Uh, yes, there is. Thank you for asking. Let's give her the stone, the rock of life. Oh, Blade, it's... And... Now, let's give her this drug patch and see if she can also examine this. Is there any okay, I guess we have to talk to her first. I haven't any idea what this patch has been doped with, but I can have the lab boys analyze it for you. It won't be ready until tomorrow, though. Oh, that'll be fine. Look, I'll come get the report when it's ready. Okay. So... That is that. We've got a date in a couple hours. And hopefully we've got a new location on our map. Why don't we go ahead and save. We're going to save in this third slot. Just in case we do need to get our handgun from the goons outside the Pleasure Dome. Oh, we do. We've got the reservoir. Of course, speaking from the old man, and we've got Johnny Kwong's. Let's check out Johnny Kwong's. Johnny Kwong's residence is a virtual fortress, complete with armed security guards and electric fences. Hmm. But we do have a manhole. Yeah, it looks like there's a sniper up top. <laughs> You must have steal it. 
I wouldn't go down there for nothing. There are rats as big as dogs down there. <laughs> rats as big as dogs. I can deal with that. So that's the exit to the street. Hmm. A vid phone truck. I think Johnny may need his line check. Okay. Schematic wiring diagram. Um, what about this? Wire tester. Hey, hey, Acme Little Giant Wire Testing Kit contains three leads, red positive, blue negative, and yellow ground. Let's see. Sure enough. I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Meanwhile, okay, can skip that. So it looks like yellow's going over here. I don't, I still don't get it. I'm still not getting this. Super lock model number 711. Bulletproof, unpickable lock. Mm. This is a schematic. I need to actually break into here. It's looking like it's going like red, blue, something. I don't know. What if we... Drop a bomb on this lock. Yes. Okay, now we can get inside, right? Sure enough. Still don't know what I'm doing here. The unpleasant odor of burning flesh reaches your nostrils a brief instant before the even more unpleasant realization that the flesh is yours. You barely have time to utter. Oh, shit. Before your vocal cords snap and are fried along with the rest of your body to a crisp, hardly detectable remnant by several thousand volts of high amperage electricity man for someone who just is in the process of dying by electrocution he sure does go on about it huh okay well let's go ahead and get this done we can get this done before the next video let's we can do this we can Head over to Johnny Kwong's. Johnny Quang, I guess is how he pronounced it. it. Looks like that's an O in my mind. Yeah, we're going down. We know. Rats as big as dogs. Let's just place a bomb on this sucker. Let's examine this real quick. I'm not understanding this one bit I'm going to take a screenshot of this I'll take a photo of it with my phone maybe this will help me once I open this sucker up Thick and confusing tangle of wires. That sure is a thick and confusing tangle of wires. You just said that twice. You know, I may not be an electrician, but that sure looks like a battery terminal to me. Voltage regulator. Voltage regulator. Wire terminal. Damn, this looks really complicated.
thick and confused. Meanwhile, let's give me a good opportunity to stare at my picture I took. Go and break out our wire tester. Blue to blue, red to red, and then yellow goes somewhere over here. Yeah, it's the same thing that happened last time. Okay. I think on this diagram, the picture I took, I can see the battery. I can see the red wires leading down into the left. I can see the blue wires leading down into the right. I do see that yellow square, that yellow rectangle that was circled. I imagine that meant that I needed to put the yellow fuse there, the yellow fuse wire. Apparently, that's not the case. Let's see, let's try and get in here real quick. Can we get this resolved to get this solved? Let's go ahead and bomb this sucker. Get our battery tester. Or our line tester, excuse me. So what happens if we place a blue one here? Same thing. We've tried the yellow one, we've tried the blue one. Is it going to be the red one there, or is it going to be something else? Ah, no, I don't want to exit. Okay, well, maybe I'm not going to get this solved this video. In fact, I'm going to call it quits there and save this for the next time. But, we caught up to where we were across the first four videos. First three videos, I think this is episode four, no, this is episode five, maybe. But, pretty much did a little speed run to get back to where we were. We're still on the first day even, so I think we're gonna be left with ample time to get this case solved. Um, anyways, this is Rise of the Dragon on the Sega CD. And I am John from MyBrainOnGames.com. Follow me there. You can follow me on YouTube and Twitter as John Engelman, J-O-H-N-E-N-G-E-L-M-A-N. Anyways, thank you for watching. Uh, please come back. Bye-bye.